In our last upload, we all got together, and elected Jasmine's basement as our headquarters. We found out that the people that sold the mirror, had two sets of twins that went missing. We decided to make it our mission to find those four missing kids, along with the first set of gems. Once we splintered, we were dropped off at the same cold location, near the cave we hid in before. But this time the cave wasn't empty. The cave was being occupied by cave people. We took off running from them, just to be chased by a dragon. Along the way, we found a wet, but worn backpack. Now that you're caught up, let's jump into the story. Give Alisha the backpack. So her and Alexa can go through it, while we find that dragon. That's not how it goes. You don't go looking for it. You run from the dragon. If we are going to be safe, we need to find where it sleeps and eats. How else will we stay away from those areas? There has to be a safer way. Yeah, to go back home. I agree, let's go home and forget all about this. We've come too far to turn back. Just throw me the backpack. Alicia and I can hide over here until you guys come back. We'll go through the backpack while you guys are away. Just don't get eaten. As if that was encouraging. You two hit the road and find us a safe path. We'll see if there's any clues in the bag. Why not take Alexa or Alicia? I'll stay here in case someone comes back for the bag. No offense guys. But you have the best memory. How will we get back to this spot? Jasmine's right. It's like you have a GPS for a brain. Why not use it make it safe for us to travel? Fine, let's go. Kyle and Jasmine head out to find the dragon's lair. They took about 49 feet southwest of where they stopped running, and noticed a few dead carcasses. As they continued on their venture, the number, as well as size of the carcasses they've passed has quadrupled in size. Jasmine grabbed Kyle's arm and pulled him back to where she was. We've went far enough, the scales of the dragon are also doubling in size. Jasmine pulls out a scale to show Kyle. His eyes almost popped out of his head. Kyle replies. Don't worry, I'll protect you. While we head back to the group. Kyle leads them back in the direction they came, while Jasmine filled him in. She explained that they were walking or ran across where those dragons hunt for food, and felt that's the only reason it came after them. Jasmine pulled out the scale again, and picked up another that was ten times smaller. She explained that they need to stay clear of the dragon's path, and they would be fine. When they got back to Alexa and Alicia, they were sitting in the middle of the clearing smiling and laughing as if they were home. Alexa takes a book over to Jasmine explaining that they have all of the notes the twins made. That they just need to stay out of the way of the dragons but the cave people are okay. The book has everything but the best thing is, there's maps. On this world, which they named World 1, has humans on it. They're blue. Are you serious? This is so awesome. This sounds great. Is there a map to get us started? There is not but we can figure out how to get back to where we were dropped off. Having you as a GPS and all, the children set out to rescue the lost twins and their first set of transporting gems that will help them travel to different worlds with more adventures. After walking past their drop-off site, Alicia notices a town. There are buildings beyond the tree line. The same picture that was drawn in the book. I bet they're there. Operation Save Those Twins is in full effect. Let's go guys. Wait for us. Here we come. Side by side they race across the freezing terrain, through the trees, and what they saw on the other side blew their little minds. Plus, the weather is completely different, it's a lot warmer, but the streets look the same as they do back home. The pictures and messages in the journal found in the backpack, made mention to it but not in detail. Where the snow meets the spring-like grown grass, they stepped together, as one. They could see the color of their clothes temporarily change once they crossed over, as if they were walking through an invisible screen. Did you feel that? Definitely. But don't look too fast, but someone just came out of that door near the truck. And she doesn't look blue, more of a teal, and pretty. Hi, are you here looking for your friends? Hello. 
Hello, and yes we are. There are four of them, have you seen them? Yes, they live, and own the flower shop. Would you mind directing us there? Sure, but they hibernate when the sun world disappears. But this can't wait until morning. We have to get back. Sure, I'll take you guys there. What are your names? I'm Alexa, nice to meet you. I'm Kyle, what's your name? They call me Obi Click Click Hamakwata. I'm Alicia, nice to meet you Obi Click Click Hamakwata. I'm Jasmine, would you mind if we called you Obi instead? I don't want to be rude and mispronounce your name. Sure Jasmine, a nickname makes me hip. Sure does, makes you downright cool. Agreed, but we need to get moving. Jasmine started walking already. She knows we are not supposed to split up. Let's catch up with your friend, then I'll take you to the flower shop. The four of them jogged to catch up with Jasmine that was a few blocks away. She introduced herself and apologized for not staying, but she saw a light that caught her eye. Obi explained that whenever anyone new enters a different world, there's a fairy guide that takes you to problems on that world. Instead of going to the flower shop, they all agreed to follow the fairy guide. She also told them that losing the trust of their guide will cause them to lose it. Which is what happened to the twins. They took something that didn't belong to them. Lastly, the fairy will talk to them when it figures out their true intentions. They followed the indecisive fairy in and out of streets, up and down stairs, across fields and through water. By the time the fairy stopped, it landed on the front lawn of a single family home. Do you know why the fairy would bring us here? The journal you're carrying, belongs to the people that love here. We thought it belonged to the twins. They'll know, don't worry about that. Obi rang the bell and they stood there for a few minutes before Mrs. Agris came to the door. Obi introduced Jasmine and allowed Jasmine to talk to Mrs. Agrist on her own. Mrs. Agrist, my friends and I found this journal in a backpack in the woods. Our fairy guide brought us here. Thank you, all they needed to do was ask. But they were young when they started. Did you splinter as well? I did. That's where all the notes came from. Would you mind if we copied your notes? We can add to them as well. How about you hold on to the book and make sure you pass it along when you're done traveling? That would be great, thank you. But what about the other four, that's stuck here? Let me touch the book and they'll be put back on their world. They will fall asleep and wake up in their beds like nothing ever happened, and the mirror will no longer be the form of a portal between worlds. The first gems you received are mission stars. As long as you have those and there is four people, you can splinter, but the mission star is loyal to owner of the frame. Jasmine, your mission star can only be transferred to someone in your bloodline. 